Right, welcome back to Luton's Last Rise, and don't forget we're still pushing for 500 subscribers on the channel before Christmas, so if you haven't already, please do subscribe. And speaking of Christmas, it's, it's December now, we're really pushing towards Christmas, and I wanted to know something. What is your favourite Christmas snack tub thing, right? And what I mean are, do you like celebrations? Do you like heroes? Do you like roses or quality street, I think it is? I'm not really sure. I think that's all of them, chocolate-wise. And do you still get an advent calendar? Because I might be 23, but I still do. I think I still enjoy waking up every morning and getting a little bit of chocolate before I go to work. It's just something that's fun, isn't it? But let me know your favourite. Is it a selection box? What do you call the celebrations tubs? I don't know. But let me know your favourite. I'm also going to run a poll on Twitter because I'm just interested. So just tell me in the comments below. And um, yeah, but FIFA now. So on to the actual video. Yeah, we have got a massive, massive episode today. Absolutely huge, right? And that is because we've got West Ham first, who are just the place above us. Now, if you didn't watch the last episode, do go back. I'm going to ruin it now. We are one place above, above relegation right now. So we've got West Ham first, then Villa, then Palace, who are just below us. West Ham are just above us. Villa are around us. Burnley again, who we just played, and Sheffield United. I don't know who I'm going to sim out of them. I'll, I'll tell you when I do, but it's probably going to be Burnley or Palace, I think. I'm not sure because I haven't played Sheffield United yet, so I kind of want to go to them and play them. But this is a huge episode for us. We need to get a win. Haven't had a win since August. Let's get there now. Let's get one against West Ham. Okay, so as I mentioned, this huge game against West Ham is at home. I've gone full strength. I'm giving Morel another chance. Their team doesn't look too good. They've got Jack Wilshere starting. Although if that's Moise Keane out right, it's a weird place to play him. And Cresswell centre-back, to be fair, their team looks terrible and it's no wonder they're just above us. We need to play better, we need to get a win. And I will say, another problem I've noticed in this team is that the goals are only coming from Harry Cornick. I saw a stat there, I'm not even looking at that today, we're getting into it. I saw a stat there that said he's scored 17 goals and I believe we've only scored around 20, 25 the whole season so six goals from everywhere else isn't good enough we need to fix that today Morel now looking at for Bradley Bryan who's breaking the line up against Aaron Cresswell playing at centre back Bryan good save trot the young keeper in the net today we'll whip a corner over we need someone to get on the head of it and Panzer gets their head on it straight at trot this is a good start from us first 10 minutes we've had a couple of chances and and we've scored oh sometimes Sometimes my commentary is just at the right moment. Luton go 1-0 up inside 10 minutes and we've been the better team. Let's keep this up. That's going to be a ball through for Jack Wilshere. Sonny Bradley shoves him off it. Get out of here, Jack Wilshere. I've just had a thought. I know for a fact that West Ham have got Ben White as a centre-back in their ranks, but they're playing Josh Cullen. What a stop that is from Nathan Trott. Sorry, I said they're playing Josh Cullen. They're playing Aaron Cresswell at centre-back when I know they've got Ben White. Unless he's injured, that is just an absolute mess. And Panzu doesn't get that header anywhere near the goal. Morel to lay it off for him. Panzu one touch and to go back towards Morel. It's deflected towards him and he puts it in the goal. We'll take the luck. When we get it, we'll take it. It's 2-0 Luton. Joe Morel gets the goal. It's been about time as well. He's needed that. That's going to be knocked down. That's a great stop from Etheridge. Oh my days. Reflexes. We see that again from a free kick. It's knocked through. It's good. Sonny Bradley's left his man. But what a one-handed save that is. And I won't lie to you, lads. I'm considering a new keeper. But on the edge of half-time, if he's going to make saves like that, I love it. He'll stay. Here West Ham come again with Jack Wilshere. Carl Bickers getting in there. And that should be enough for the ref to blow his whistle for half-time. And there it goes. Brilliant defending. We've been solid today. We, sometimes you have to rely on the keeper, and we did there. Etheridge make it a stunning stop. It's 2 0. We can't let this slip now. We need this three points. Bradley Bryan just going to play a slip ball for Cornick. That's lovely. Surely we're going to make it three here. Harry Cornick off the outside of the post. What a miss. And now they've done it. Look, you can see the change in the corner. They've brought on Ben White. Would you not start the man? I'm sure he's a great centre back. Yeah, they are still West Ham. Laying the ball off really well. They're good waiting for a chance to shoot, I imagine. Can we hold them off enough that we can get a block in on the strike? Etheridge makes the save. Pony with his back to goal. Looks for Jason Knight and has found him onside as well. Can he keep it just enough? Can he finish from that corner? Yes, he can, Jason Knight. That is a fantastic finish. And if you ask me, West Ham are just getting back into the game. But making it three should seal a win. And with that, Jason Knight, his first goal with the busy Christmas period, I'm taking him off. Velasco's coming on. Cornick's coming off, so Collins is coming on. And I made another sub 
that I can't remember right now. Alex Adams has come on from around, that's it. Alex Adams then has slipped Velasco in behind Johnson. I'm sure he's got the pace to get away. Will Velasco get his first loot and go? That's a terrible finish. Try a second attempt, it's not happened. And Adams can't control it. Oh, Brian slipped a fantastic ball for Jed Wallace. He's absolutely powering towards the goal and he's just going to strike it wide. How has he missed that? He's lucky with three up. There's barely any time left now. And the ref sure is going to blow the whistle for our first three points since a win in August. That is massive, especially against a team that are just behind, or just above us. They were, anyway, in the lead. Massive three points. We need to get more this episode. Big time. Right then, we've finally won. Goals came from other places, so I've kept the same team. I think Villa is going to be difficult, They're only, but they are only just above us. But they have got Loftus Cheek now. Yeah, uh, it's, yeah, right, it's going to be tough, and we know that. But West Ham wasn't easy. We made it look it, though. So let's do the same here. And hey, would you look at that? It's winter. Orange lines at Villa Park. Probably still a white ball, but you what can you do about it? Let's get another three points. Build on the last one. And get away from the relegation zone. That's a good ball. Sonny Bradley's eyes. Oh, straight away. What happens, man? I I didn't mean to. I say Sonny Bradley, but I put the foot in and I did it wrong. Uh, it's all my fault, that one. Here it is. Look, you see him put the foot in there. That's me. That was me. I shouldn't have made him do it. We slipped Jason Knight in. That's always good. He's battling with Matty Cash here, which means he's had to take it far. But Harry Cornett, can he win the header? He can't. That's a corner. There's a gay on it on the edge. Oh, it's fallen. 2-0. 2-0. They've not been good, Villa. They've not been good. But every time they get there, they have the shot. And Bora scores. So I'm now behind by two. Again. Back into Bora. Can I get close enough to him? No. But he'll score, though, for a hat trick before half an hour. And I'm 3-0 down. That's the third time I've seen that stupid salute as well. Christ. Jason Knight's in behind Cash. He goes in for Cornick, who brings it with him to play to Morel. Morel should finish that straight at the keeper. How are you, how are you missing that, Morel? Not long left. I had to foul Bora to stop him going through. I mean, I don't know what to say about this half, really. Can we get that ball out first? Enough for the ref to blow half time? No, because it's gone back into Bora now. Which he's turned. Carter Bickers has got there. We'll just clear it out and we'll have half time because there's no time to go forward. I don't know. They've, they've come forward three times, they've scored three times, and it's been bore up three times. I've had chances, we haven't put them away. I, I don't know, don't know today. Cornet bringing the ball down in the channel, taking on angles. Jason Knight's at the back post, but it's not gone to him, why? Wallace has been given some space from a through ball from Bree. We've got three in the box, surely if I can find Morel, please finish that. There's one back, good stuff. Picking up the ball, it's 3-1, let's try and get something from this now. Morel's got a little bit of space. And he's actually found Knight. I meant that for Cornick, but we'll take it. He's come inside Cash. He's still got it. He has a strike. And he's finished it from Jason Knight. What a strike. Yes, lads. All right, we're not going to pick up the ball. But I'm definitely going to take it. It's 3-2. 20 minutes to go. Panzer bringing the ball forward finds Cornick. But if I can turn myself around, is that going to reach him, Panzer? It's not, but he's won it back. That is fantastic. From Petty Ruddock and Panzer takes a strike himself. I should have passed it. What am I doing? Oh, that's so my fault. Oh, and they've played Bora in now. Bradley Bryan, uh, Sonny Bradley, is he fast enough? He's got the ball. It's a foul, but I'll take that. I'll take that. Although it's a dangerous position, it's a tough angle. He's probably going to have to whip it in here. Bora now, her and over it. Bora to strike it. Etheridge. Oh, it makes a save. Oh, Bradley Bryan plays Jed Wallace. We just need options now. He's turning around. There's Joe Morrell. One touch, a strike. Oh, it's a great save. Oh, it's all happening in this final five minutes we probably should be winning by now and pants or winning drawing it's nearly scores oh Sonny Bradley's won the ball back in the middle of the park there's Joe Morrell there's Bradley Bryan one touch please get the strike off straight at the keeper oh it's a good ball for Loftus cheek Sonny Bradley's not got there because somehow he's gone through him Bora's in there he's gonna score a fourth that's not that's not how it should have gone that's not how it should have gone at all I didn't I can't believe it man how has he got four goals that's a joke the game's over now. The ref's blown his full time whistle. 4 2 isn't. That should at least be 3 3 or 4 3 in our favour. I can't believe we've lost that game. I can't believe it. Ah. Oh. So, next up is that Palace game then. And yes, it is going to be the Sim. They are now directly behind us. We need another three points. I can't believe we lost to Villa. Fuming. Got to get some points here. 
can't afford to lose. Who's big old Brian are playing well. Nombe's in now. Have a shot, Nombe. Just shoot, mate. Just shoot. Ah, oh, it's been saved. Palace on an attack now. Jermaine Bogart scores. Of course he does. Absolutely left by everybody. And it's 1-0 Palace. Not the start we need. We're actually approaching half-time. Well, there it is. Should I say there's a whistle? The only thing that's happened really is Palace have scored. Not great. I'm not happy. I've got the big boys on the bench that I might have to bring on in a second. I've got a corner and I've made the changes then. Cornick's on, Morel's on and Knight are on. Got to go for it. Cornick into Brian, into Morel, back to Bradley Bryan. Oh, that's the closest we've come and that's probably it for us. Although we've won it back, have a shot. Please, lads, just shoot. Not long left. I imagine they're just going to blow the whistle if we go backwards at any point. There it is. A loss to Palace. Probably the worst loss we could ever have. They're right behind us. That probably puts us... Definitely in threat of relegation now. Need a win in the next few games. And the first of those two games then is against Burnley. At home, I'm worried. Very, very worried about it. They're up in seventh. It's mad. Um, any points at all is good now. Yeah, I'm worried already. Burnley, we haven't had good, good results against Burnley. They've always been difficult. It's going to be a difficult game. They're playing really well. They're actually quite a good team now and we're not. So let's see what happens. Bradley Bryan with space. Loads of it as well. Looks for Adams. Can he take it past his man just for a shot on the edge? Straight in, but a good side for the young man. Bradley Bryan plays a ball down wide for Wallace. That's good. First time into the box. Jason Knight on his head. No, I wanted him to volley it. Adams then. Has he got the pace? Has he got the pace? No, but if he can slip in. Harry Cornick, that's a fantastic pass. Lovely waited for Harry Cornick to score. Sometimes you want the goals to come from somewhere else, but sometimes you just need to get a goal. And if you give the ball to Harry Cornick, you normally get one. 1-0. And Panzo on the press has won the ball back unbelievably well. He just needs a runner. Jed Wallace is out wide. That's not a good pass. But he's going to whip it for back post or front post. Harry Cornick. Great save. And again, the double save. And they've got it away. Oh, we've intercepted. Harry Cornick's still got the ball here. Referee. Ref. You're joking. How is that not foul? There's a ball through. I can see it. Can Sonny Bradley get there? Fantastic tackle from Sonny Bradley. There's a half-time whistle, then we're going 1-0 up. It's been difficult, we've had some good defensive moments, we've had some not-so-good attacking moments, which is probably why we're only 1-up. Maybe another few chances we could have scored. We need to improve in the second half. And Panzer coming forward, Adams was tracking back, which is why we're just going to wait for there's the gap for Harry Cornick. And once again on the edge, smacks it into the bottom corner, puts us 2-0 up. This is what we need. We need good results. We need them at home to get the confidence up in the fans. 2-0, let's keep it. Burnley have decided to step it up a gear, which means we've got room on the break. Alex Adams has been set away now. He is left-footed. He's going to strike it on his left wide. He needs to put that in. Adams with just a long ball. Just a long ball. And for some reason, Mpanzu is the one who's running through. And I'm going to finish it with him. Absolutely brilliant. Alex Adams may have missed a chance earlier there, but that pass is fantastic. And Banzu makes us 3-0 on the counter. Surely game one. Jason Knight now battling with a man. Can he just lift it? That is another unbelievable pass. But there's Jed Wallace. Can we finish it for four? Why has he not hit it? What? You'll have seen it. You'll have seen that bar go up and Jed Wallace just not hit it. I can't believe it. That's a great pass. That's a great pass. Sonny Bradley once again. I'll take that. That's a good clearance. To be fair to him, had to get the ball away, had to get there first. If it's gone for a corner, that's fine, because Etheridge will come and punch from this corner. Then I brought Adams off, and he's had gone off to a stand innovation. He's had a fantastic game today. And also, Wallace has gone off for Fabri on the ball there. Morel's come on. Oh, it's fallen for Harry Cornick. It's four. Oh, we've got very lucky there. Very, very lucky. But it's fallen. I'll take a 4-0 win when it comes around. Hat-trick for Harry Cornick as well. And there goes the whistle. We didn't get anywhere, Fabri on the ball. That is another huge win. We've got one more game this episode. We have to get points from it. A point or three. And then it's actually quite promising. Now, that final game then is Sheffield United. And if you look at our team, you see Bradley Brighton. He's got one of the best stamina's in the squad and he's not full. So imagine how everyone else is. The big ones are on the bench. We need a win. We need three points. Realistically, because we're in a scrap for relegation and we can't afford to be dropping too many more. But that's that's a tough team to play against. Let's see what happens. Bramall Lane is the venue for today. This is a December game, but the weather looks lovely. But yes, we've had we've got a tough fixture list. We've got an FA Cup game at the weekend after this. Oh, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be very difficult, especially with this team. Let's go. Dewsbury Hall finds Morel. It's good. Can he find Nombe? That's fantastic. Nombe! Oh, and it creeps in. It creeps in and Sam Nombe gets the goal. 
Brilliant finish. Lovely pass from Real, to be fair, who's not been playing well at all. But we'll take a 1-0 lead so far. Oh, Jews, before that's lovely. From Morel into Nombe again. Nombe. Oh, Nombe's clinical, man. Nombe is clinical. Sometimes I think I might should bring him on more because he's got two now. We're two nil up out of nowhere. Lovely. Yeah, it's good football. It's good football. But Sabali's there to get it away. That's a great ball. Zakari. What a challenge. He's going out on loan soon, but what a defender. They're in again here, but Lockyer stops it. And we've just stopped it with Lockyer. Morel's played Fabry through. Are we going to get a third on the break? Yes, Emmanuel Fabry with his first Premier League goal. And it looks like it's going to be three points. What we need is to play on the counter-attack like that. Fantastic. Surely we're going to win today. Sheffield United forward again. Zakari's looking to get there. He's not got there. Oh, and it's gone in. That was a good turn. Just before half-time, that's a bit annoying. Not sure who it is that scored. I don't really care, but we are 3-1 up. So it's not too bad. Ref should blow his whistle for half-time. There it goes, of course. I mean, we were two minutes over the time allowed, but none nonetheless, nonetheless, it's still 3-1 Luton. We've still got a chance of winning this. We've got a good chance of winning this. I think we can do it. Ateta's been played in behind here. Zakari with another great, great challenge. Morel plays it for Fabri. Is he going to have the pace to get past a couple? He's not, but he'll know to play the ball. Oh, he's not got there, though. We're getting closer for a fourth. And Fabri's blocked it. That's how close we're getting. But I think he might be offside. Morel was off. Oh, it's a good ball. Look, he's not got there. Marcias. No. No, no, no. We can't. We can't allow this to slip. Please. It's 3-2. I am going to take Nombe off, though. I know he's on a hat-trick, but I have to shore it up. And if I can get a fourth, that would make things better. Collins comes on. And so does Jason Knight. Morel up for Cornick. There's room just for turning it round back for Morel. First time. Oh, great stop. Absolutely great stop. No, not, not now. No, 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 no. I beg. I beg. No. It was a great slip in. Lockyer moved. It's 3-3. Three, three. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Offside, please. I'm begging you. If surely offside. No way. Oh, you're kidding me. No way. He was miles offside. Oh, I can't be bothered. There's a full-time whistle. I don't care anymore, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, we're moving on, we're moving on. So before we move into everyone's favourite little bit, we've had this for the first time, Youth Players Unsettled, Leonardo de Oliveira wants to come be called up, so I suppose we do, we look him, we call him up, which I will do now, road to senior team, and um, we look to get him a loan in January. And if you want to track that loan, do check out the Google Sheet, there'll be a few that'll be there, on loan or wherever they are, but yes, now we will go to everyone's favourite little bit. It's a tough one to pick today, then, player of the episode. I was going to give it to Zakari if we'd got a result against Sheffield United, but that really annoyed me, and I can't believe that's happened. That shouldn't have happened. That's FIFA, not anything else. I'm going to give it to Jason Knight today. I think well, I asked for a few more goals from other places, and he got himself two or maybe three. So I'm very happy with that. He's been good. He's our highest rated player, you know, actually. Jason Knight is our highest rated player at the moment, at 80 overall, if you didn't know. I think he's good. I'm looking for a bit more goal contribution from him. He hasn't got many so far, but he will. And I'm sure he'll push on towards the end of the season now. I haven't calmed down from that Sheffield United game yet, right? We're going to look at the league now and see where we should be, because we should have got three points from that. But we'll see where we actually are, because we did lose. <laughs> Turns out we're still in 17th place then. A win would have taken us where? Well, actually, it wouldn't have taken us very far. It would have taken us to 16th. We've, we're flirting around here and it's going to be an absolute scrap to get out of this this season, especially if stuff like that happens all the time. Our next league game will be the return of the of Watford, so a derby to start next episode, although we have got the FA Cup, which I'm going to play. Um, we haven't got an easy run after that, I imagine. We've had easy enough games there. We've got Reading, though. That'll hopefully be a win. Look, I don't know what to say, especially about that Sheffield United game, so I'm just not going to say anything. And I'm going to end the episode now because I need to go and calm down. So I thank you for watching it. I hope you have enjoyed it. Enjoyed it more than I have. Anyway, do leave a like. Do subscribe. Do tell me your favourite celebrations or that sort of stuff. And I will see you all in the next one.